What's up guys, Hong, OG Fitness, welcome to the channel. You guys know what time it is. So today I'm gonna answer a question by Rustin B. Noir. Hi, hope you're doing great. I'm a 20 year old guy and I've been in love with martial arts for a while and I've decided to finally start going to classes. I'm pretty much free most of the day so I kind of want to do a lot of stuff at the same time. My goal is to be a mixed martial artist so I have four martial arts that I want to learn. Uh, karate, Judo, Muay Thai, BJJ or Japanese Jiu Jitsu. My plan is to do Karate and Judo every day for five, six days a week. And after getting my black belt, well, after getting good at both, I'll switch to the other two, Muay Thai and BJJ or Japanese Jiu Jitsu. I wanted to know your opinion about my decision. Is it uh, an okay plan? Should I do all four at the same time? I just want to make the most of my time because I've been wasting it a lot and I've armed, I'm already 20. Thank you very much, uh, Rustin. Listen, uh, I appreciate the email. It wasn't too long, don't worry about it. Your, your choice of uh, martial arts, karate, judo, Muay Thai, BJJ, or Japanese Jiu Jitsu. Um, only two of them there are like important for MMA. Even karate practice properly won't translate that well inside the cage just because the way, um, and it depends what, there's different types of karate I know, and there's karate tournaments, and I know you got Wonder Boy in there, and you know, he did, uh, he did point karate and a lot of kickboxing matches, and I think he has like, it was like 50 matches uh, undefeated or something like that before he came to the UFC. Uh, when he was fighting Tyrone Woodley, like you noticed that they were very, uh, both of them very careful, very reluctant to go at it because both of them were very high level. But essentially Tyrone Woodley won. You know, a wrestler, high level wrestler with, uh, you know, boxing skills, throw in some jiu-jitsu and voila. You do not need karate. You do not need judo. You need Muay Thai for sure because you have to understand clinching, kicking the legs, checking the leg kicks. Obviously, you need to understand BJJ. Those are the only two out of the four that you mentioned that are going to be worth uh, st uh, studying. I'm not saying you can't uh, uh, dabble in other things, but you got to take care of, in my opinion, uh, BJJ, Muay Thai, then you need boxing, then you need wrestling. Those are the four things that you have to have. Judo is fun, but I'm telling you, there's no, like, Judo, you're, you're wearing a gi. You're not wearing a gi in the cage, so... Already those five things that I mentioned, man, that's gonna take up all of your time. So don't be wasting time uh, doing stuff that's essentially not gonna work uh, in, in MMA. If I were to start over and I would just focus straight on the stuff that works and I would moonlight and I would be open to learning from other guys who are very advanced in their respective arts, in Judo, in the karate, in Taekwondo or in whatever, you know, uh, to add a little bit to my game, I would be highly, highly focused on the fundamentals, the building blocks of, uh, of what works inside the cage. That's it. So anyways, I hope that made sense. Listen, guys, I know there's a lot of guys in the community. There's going to be a little back and forth here and all that, but uh, help a young man out. <clears throat> Not me. I'm talking about uh, Rustin here. Rustin. Hey, keep in touch, email me or comment in the, in the, the comment section. Of course, email is always faster, right? We're both on our journeys and I'd love to, for us to keep in touch and you know, stay up to date with what we're doing. And uh, that's it guys. So thank you very much for watching. See you guys in the next one. Peace. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and click on the notification bell. Also, there's a link down below. If you guys click on it, it's gonna bring you to a page where you could follow me on all my social media platforms and you can also apply for, uh, for coaching so that you guys can work directly with me. Also, one last thing guys, if you have any questions, right, send me an email. That's the best way to reach me. I read them and I'll, I'll answer your, your questions, man. All right, peace.